fragility of manhood, unpacking social constructs. When masculinity is more than just an identity, it's a tightrope walk. Hello and welcome to I4L, Information for Life, insight and ideas to navigate your world. I'm your host, Daniel Boyd, coming to you from sunny St. Petersburg, Florida. Today, we're diving into a topic that's both intriguing and essential in understanding the fabric of our society, the concept of precarious manhood. In a world where gender roles are increasingly scrutinized and redefined, it's vital to understand the underlying forces that shape our perceptions of masculinity. Our exploration is based on the groundbreaking study by Vandello et al. titled Precarious Manhood and complemented by a host of recent peer-reviewed research. We'll delve into how manhood, unlike womanhood, is often viewed as a precarious status, one that's not only hard-earned, but also easily lost, requiring continuous social validation. This perception, deeply ingrained in many cultures, has profound implications on behavior, psychology, and social interactions. From the anxiety and stress associated with maintaining manhood to the aggressive responses triggered when it's challenged, we'll uncover the multifaceted impacts of the social construct. We'll also explore the cultural and evolutionary roots of this phenomenon, providing a comprehensive understanding of why manhood is perceived as tenuous and what this means for men in today's society. So, join me as we unravel these complex dynamics, challenging ourselves to think beyond traditional stereotypes and embrace a more nuanced understanding of masculinity. Let's begin this journey of insight and discovery, expanding our frames and introducing new perspectives in our continuous quest for knowledge. Stay tuned, and let's delve into the fragility of manhood, unpacking social constructs. Explaining precarious manhood. Let's start by diving into the core of today's topic. Precarious manhood. This concept, at its heart, is a sociocultural phenomenon that posits a fundamental difference in how manhood and womanhood are perceived and attained in society. Defining Precarious Manhood Precarious manhood is the idea that achieving the status of a man isn't a simple matter of age or biological development. Unlike womanhood, which is often seen as a stable and innate status, manhood is viewed as something that must be continually earned and proved. It's not just a state of being, it's a status achieved through actions, behaviors, and societal validation. Vandello and others, 2008, in their seminal work, Precarious Manhood, provide an in-depth exploration of this concept. They argue that manhood is considered an elusive status, one that is hard to earn and easy to lose. This perception sets up a variety of psychological and social dynamics where men feel compelled to continuously prove their manhood in various ways. The need for social validation. The precarious nature of manhood necessitates constant social validation. This isn't just about personal belief or self-perception. It's about how a man is perceived and acknowledged by his peers and society at large. This need for validation often drives men to engage in behaviors and activities that are socially recognized as masculine. Eisler and Skidmore's 1987 research on masculine gender role stress highlights this point. They found that societal pressures and expectations significantly contribute to stress in men, especially when those expectations pertain to traditional masculine roles and behaviors. So what we're looking at is not just an internal identity struggle, but a broader social phenomenon. It's about how society defines manhood, how those definitions are internalized by men, and the ongoing effort to meet those standards, often in the public eye. As we delve deeper into today's discussion, we'll explore how these dynamics play out in real life, the psychological impacts they have, and how they shape the behavior and interactions of men in various contexts. Background of the concept. Now that we've defined precarious manhood, let's delve into the background of this concept. A pivotal piece in understanding precarious manhood comes from the study by Vandello et al., published in 2008 in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. This study is foundational not only for its thorough exploration of the concept, but also for the diverse methodologies it employed, Vandello and others, 2008 study. Vandello and his colleagues conducted a series of five studies, each designed to unravel different facets of how manhood is perceived in contrast to womanhood. Their approach was multifaceted, 
They didn't rely on just one method or perspective. Instead, they combined surveys, experiments, and psychological assessments to gather a comprehensive view of how manhood is understood and manifested in society. One of the most striking findings from their research was the idea that manhood, unlike womanhood, is seen as an unstable status. It's not something that, once achieved, is retained effortlessly. Instead, it requires continuous validation and proof. This isn't a one-time achievement, but a perpetual state of proving oneself. Exploring the Unstable Nature of Manhood The study revealed that manhood is often perceived as a status that can be easily lost or questioned. This perception drastically differs from how womanhood is commonly viewed as a more stable and innate status. The researchers demonstrated through their experiments that societal expectations around manhood are not just challenging to meet, but are also fragile and easily threatened. This idea of manhood being unstable and tenuous has profound implications. It influences how men interact with others, how they perceive themselves, and how they navigate societal expectations. It underscores the constant pressure men may feel to demonstrate their masculinity in socially acceptable ways. As we move forward in our discussion, we'll see how this unstable nature of manhood plays out in various aspects of men's lives, from personal relationships to public behavior. Understanding the roots of this concept helps us appreciate the complexities and challenges that come with the societal construct of manhood. Setting the stage for discussion. As we've started to peel back the layers of precarious manhood, it's clear that this is a concept rich with cultural, evolutionary, and psychological dimensions. In today's episode, we're going to take a deep dive into these aspects, exploring how they collectively shape the concept of manhood as we understand it. Cultural Aspects of Precarious Manhood Firstly, we'll explore the cultural aspects. Cultures around the world have different ways of defining and perceiving manhood. These cultural narratives often play a significant role in shaping what is considered masculine behavior and how men are expected to act. We'll look at how these cultural constructs of manhood can vary widely, yet often share the common thread of manhood being something that is not guaranteed but must be continually proven. Evolutionary Perspectives From there, we'll delve into the evolutionary perspective. Why is manhood perceived as precarious? We'll discuss theories from evolutionary psychology that suggest this perception may stem from ancestral environments where demonstrating strength and competency was crucial for survival and reproductive success. This evolutionary backdrop provides a fascinating lens through which to view modern perceptions of manhood. Psychological impacts, and of course, we can't overlook the psychological dimension. Understanding precarious manhood from a psychological standpoint helps us comprehend how this societal construct impacts the individual psyche. We'll examine the mental and emotional consequences that can arise from living under the pressure of constantly having to prove one's manhood. Influence on behavior. Lastly, we'll bring all these perspectives together to understand how the concept of precarious manhood influences men's behavior, particularly will focus on how men respond when their masculinity is challenged. These responses can range from subtle psychological shifts to overt changes in behavior and can profoundly impact personal relationships, professional dynamics, and social interactions. So, as we journey through today's discussion, keep these aspects in mind. They are the lenses through which we will seek to understand the intricate and often challenging world of precarious manhood. Section 1. Summary and Analysis of Vandello et al.'s Findings Key Findings from Vandello and Others, 2008 Let's delve into the heart of the Vandello and Others, 2008, study and unpack its key findings. This research is a treasure trove of insights, comprising five distinct but interrelated studies, each shedding light on different aspects of precarious manhood. Study 1. Cultural Beliefs About Manhood and Womanhood the first study focused on cultural beliefs. Participants were asked to rate how true various statements about manhood and womanhood were. The results? Manhood was consistently seen as something that needed to be earned and maintained, unlike womanhood, which was viewed as a more stable status. Study 2. Manhood versus Womanhood in Achieving Adult Status The second study took this a step further. 
exploring how people perceive the transition into manhood or womanhood. Participants generally viewed becoming a man as a more challenging process that required social recognition, whereas becoming a woman was seen as a natural, inevitable outcome of physical maturation. Study 3. Responses to Hypothetical Challenges to Manhood and Womanhood In the third study, participants responded to scenarios where either their manhood or womanhood was challenged. Men reported higher levels of distress and were more likely to say they would engage in compensatory behaviors, such as aggression, to reassert their challenged masculinity. Study 4. Behavioral Responses to a Direct Challenge The fourth study was an experimental one. Men who experienced a challenge to their masculinity displayed a greater preference for physical aggression as a compensatory mechanism. This finding is pivotal as it directly links the concept of precarious manhood with behavioral responses. Study 5. Implicit Associations with Manhood and Aggression Finally, the fifth study used an implicit association test to examine the link between manhood and aggression. The findings? A strong association between masculinity and aggression, suggesting that when manhood is threatened, aggression is a likely compensatory response. The overarching conclusion from these studies is profound yet straightforward. Manhood is perceived as a socially conferred and easily lost status. This perception creates a unique set of pressures for men as they navigate a social landscape where their status as men is constantly at stake. The experiments conducted in this research clearly demonstrated that challenges to masculinity often trigger increased stress and aggression in men. This reaction is a direct consequence of the precarious nature of manhood. Men, feeling their masculine identity is threatened, may resort to aggressive behaviors as a means to reassert their manhood. These findings from Vandello and others, 2008, paint a comprehensive picture of precarious manhood and its implications. They highlight the complex interplay between societal expectations, personal identity, and behavioral responses. Analyzing the Implications with the key findings from the Vandello and others, 2008, study fresh in our minds, let's take a step back and analyze the broader implications of these discoveries. How do they challenge our traditional views of masculinity? What are the psychological impacts of living with such a precarious identity? And how do these theoretical concepts translate into the real-world experiences of men in various social contexts? The study profoundly challenges long-standing notions of masculinity. Traditionally, masculinity has been viewed as a stable, inherent trait, something that, once attained, remains with a man. However, the concept of precarious manhood turns this idea on its head. It suggests that masculinity is not a fixed attribute, but a status that needs continuous validation. This perspective forces us to reevaluate how we think about masculinity and its role in shaping male behavior and identity. The psychological implications of living with a sense of precarious manhood are significant. The constant need to prove and maintain one's manhood can lead to heightened levels of anxiety. This state of perpetual vigilance, where one's status as a man feels continuously at risk, can be mentally and emotionally exhausting. Moreover, the study highlights compensatory behaviors like aggression that men might adopt when their masculinity is challenged. These behaviors are coping mechanisms, albeit often unhealthy ones, to counteract feelings of inadequacy or vulnerability. These findings have tangible implications in everyday scenarios. In the workplace, for instance, men might feel pressure to exhibit traditionally masculine traits like assertiveness or competitiveness more intensely, sometimes to the detriment of teamwork and collaboration. In interpersonal relationships, the pressure to conform to masculine ideals can strain communications and create barriers to emotional intimacy. The concept of precarious manhood, therefore, isn't just a theoretical construct. It's a lived reality that affects how men interact with the world around them. It shapes their responses to challenges, influences their relationships, and impacts their mental health. As we move forward, it's crucial to keep these implications in mind. Understanding the nuances of precarious manhood can help us foster more empathetic and supportive environments where men can express their identities without the burden of constant validation, integrating additional research. In the decades since the publication of Vandello et al.'s Precarious Manhood, 
The landscape of gender studies has continued to evolve. New research has expanded on the original ideas, bringing fresh perspectives and deeper understanding. Let's integrate some of this recent research to see how the concept of precarious manhood has developed and what additional insights it offers. In recent years, studies have continued to explore the nuances of precarious manhood, often focusing on its intersection with other social issues. Research has shed light on how economic changes, shifts in the labor market, and evolving social norms have influenced perceptions of masculinity. These studies reinforce the idea that manhood is not a static concept, but one that evolves with societal changes. Cultural variations in perceptions of manhood remain a vibrant area of research. Studies across different societies have shown that while the notion of precarious manhood is widespread, its manifestations can vary greatly. For example, what constitutes a challenge to manhood in one culture may be perceived differently in another. This line of research highlights the importance of cultural context in shaping the experience of manhood. Understanding the concept of precarious manhood is crucial for professionals in psychology and counseling. It provides a framework for addressing issues like male aggression, anxiety, and stress in a culturally sensitive manner. In terms of social policy, this research can inform initiatives aimed at promoting gender equality and mental health awareness. It underscores the need for policies that acknowledge the pressures men face and provide support systems to help them navigate these challenges. As we continue to build on the foundational work of Vandello et al., it becomes clear that the study of precarious manhood is not just about understanding masculinity. It's about understanding human behavior in a broader social and cultural context. This research provides valuable insights that can help us create more inclusive and supportive environments for everyone, regardless of gender. Section 2. Cultural and Evolutionary Roots of Precarious Manhood as we delve deeper into the concept of precarious manhood, it's essential to explore its roots from various perspectives. One of the most significant influences on how manhood is perceived comes from cultural contexts. Let's unpack how different cultures view manhood and the rites of passage associated with it. Across the globe, cultures have developed unique ways of defining and recognizing manhood. These definitions often involve specific rites of passage, ceremonies or events that mark the transition from boyhood to manhood. For example, in some African tribes, rites of passage involve tests of endurance or bravery. In many Western societies, while formal rites of passage might be less common, the transition into manhood is still marked by certain achievements or milestones, like getting a job, marrying, or becoming a father. These cultural practices and narratives play a crucial role in reinforcing the idea that manhood must be actively earned and publicly displayed. They often emphasize qualities like strength, bravery, and resilience. What's fascinating is that despite the vast differences in how cultures define manhood, the common thread is that it's not an automatic status. It's something that needs to be achieved and continually proven. Research has shown that these cultural narratives are powerful in shaping men's behavior and self-perception. For instance, a study by Williams and Best, 1982, examining gender stereotypes across 30 nations, found that men are universally rated as more adventurous, dominant, forceful, and independent than women. These cultural stereotypes contribute to the perception of manhood as something that must be visibly demonstrated and validated by others. These rites of passage and cultural narratives aren't just symbolic. They have real psychological impacts. They set the expectations for what it means to be a man and how to achieve and maintain that status. This can put significant pressure on men to conform to these expectations, often leading to stress and anxiety, especially when they feel they don't measure up. In this light, understanding the cultural roots of precarious manhood isn't just an academic exercise. It's key to understanding how men navigate their identities in different societal contexts. It helps us appreciate the diversity of masculine experiences and the common challenges men face in living up to culturally constructed ideals of manhood. Evolutionary Background Now, let's turn our attention to the evolutionary background of precarious manhood. While cultural narratives are crucial in shaping our understanding of manhood, evolutionary psychology offers another dimension to this complex puzzle, 
Evolutionary psychology theories suggest that the concept of precarious manhood may have roots in our ancestral environments. In these early human societies, demonstrating strength, competency, and resourcefulness was crucial for survival and reproductive success. Men who could prove their ability to protect, provide, and procreate were more likely to succeed in passing on their genes. Buss and Schmidt, 1993, and Trivers, 1972, provide insights into this evolutionary perspective. They argue that men's competitive acquisition of social status and resources was integral in gaining access to mates. This competition created a natural selection pressure where traits and behaviors that successfully signaled strength and competency became highly valued. These evolutionary pressures have significantly shaped societal expectations of men. The qualities that were advantageous in ancestral environments, like physical strength, bravery, and the ability to acquire resources, have been culturally amplified into the ideals of manhood we recognize today. This evolutionary backdrop explains why many societies place such a high premium on men proving their masculinity through actions and achievements. Furthermore, the work of Geary, 1998, and Simmons, 1995, supports this view. They suggest that the early human environment, characterized by effective polygyny, may have further intensified the need for men to demonstrate their value and capabilities publicly. This need to constantly prove manhood aligns with the concept of precarious manhood as a status that's not assured, but needs to be continually earned and defended. Understanding this evolutionary background helps us see the concept of precarious manhood in a new light. It's not just a social construct. It's a behavior pattern deeply rooted in our evolutionary history. This perspective can provide valuable insights into why certain traits and behaviors are still so strongly associated with masculinity and why men might feel pressured to conform to these expectations. In combining the cultural and evolutionary perspectives, we gain a more holistic understanding of precarious manhood and its implications for men today. Connecting Culture and Evolution in our exploration of precarious manhood, we've looked at both cultural and evolutionary perspectives. Now, let's bridge these two realms to understand how they collectively contribute to the concept of precarious manhood and its persistence in modern society. The cultural norms surrounding manhood, which we've discussed, aren't developed in a vacuum. They are deeply influenced by our evolutionary history. The traits and behaviors that were favored in our ancestral environments have been woven into the cultural fabric of what it means to be a man. This interplay between culture and evolution creates a powerful force that shapes our perceptions of masculinity. For instance, the emphasis on strength and competency in many cultural rites of passage mirrors the evolutionary advantages these traits once offered. This intersection of cultural narrative and evolutionary benefit reinforces the idea that manhood is something to be achieved and constantly proven. In modern society, the demands and expectations placed on men have evolved. We no longer live in environments where physical strength and direct competition for resources are necessary for survival. Yet, the underlying pressure for men to prove their masculinity persists. This persistence can be attributed to the deep evolutionary roots of these expectations, which continue to influence cultural norms and societal perceptions. While the ways in which men prove their manhood might have changed, shifting from physical prowess to other forms of achievement like career success or financial stability, the core idea remains. Men are still often judged by their ability to meet these culturally and evolutionarily ingrained standards. This ongoing pressure can be seen in various aspects of modern life, from the workplace to social dynamics. This connection between cultural norms and evolutionary theories provides a comprehensive understanding of why manhood is seen as precarious. It helps explain why, despite significant societal changes, many men still feel the need to continuously prove their masculinity in both traditional and modern ways. Understanding this complex interplay can help us approach the concept of masculinity with more empathy and insight. It allows us to see that the challenges men face in proving their manhood are not just personal or cultural, but are rooted in a deep evolutionary past that continues to influence us today. Section 3. Psychological Impacts, Anxiety and Aggression Having explored the cultural and evolutionary underpinnings of precarious manhood, Let's now turn our attention to its psychological impacts, specifically focusing on anxiety and aggression. 
These emotional and behavioral responses are crucial in understanding the personal toll that precarious manhood can take on individuals. One of the most significant psychological impacts of precarious manhood is heightened anxiety. This anxiety stems from the constant pressure to prove and maintain one's status as a man. It's not just about living up to personal standards, but also about meeting societal expectations that are deeply ingrained and often unspoken. The precarious nature of manhood means that it's perceived as something that can be easily lost or called into question. For many men, this results in a perpetual state of vigilance and readiness to defend their masculine status. This constant state of alertness can be mentally and emotionally draining, leading to heightened levels of anxiety. The continuous need to prove masculinity doesn't just cause momentary anxiety, it can lead to chronic stress. This stress can be pervasive, affecting various aspects of life, from personal relationships to professional environments. It's a stress that comes from the fear of failing to live up to the masculine ideal, of not being man enough, and the potential social consequences that might follow. Studies have shown that this kind of gender role stress is not just theoretical, it has real-world impacts. It can affect men's mental health, their social interactions, and even their physical well-being. The stress of constantly proving one's manhood can lead to unhealthy coping mechanisms such as aggression, substance abuse, or withdrawal from social interactions. In understanding the psychological impact of precarious manhood, we begin to see how deeply it can affect individual lives. It's not just a societal issue, it's a personal one that can have profound implications for mental health and well-being. As we continue, we'll also look at how this anxiety often translates into aggression, another key psychological response associated with precarious manhood. Aggression as a response. In the previous segment, we discussed the anxiety associated with precarious manhood. Now, let's explore another significant psychological response that often accompanies this anxiety, aggression. Vandello et al.'s study sheds light on this aspect, revealing how challenges to manhood frequently trigger aggressive responses. The study by Vandello and his colleagues found that when men perceive their masculinity to be challenged, they often respond with aggression. This isn't necessarily physical aggression. It can also manifest as verbal assertiveness, competitiveness, or other forms of dominating behavior. The key here is that the aggression is a response to the perceived threat to their masculine identity. This phenomenon isn't just limited to specific contexts or environments. It can occur in various settings, from personal relationships to professional workplaces. The common factor is the perception of a challenge or threat to one's masculine status. So what drives this aggressive response? At its core, it can be understood as a defense mechanism. When a man's masculinity is called into question, it can feel like a fundamental part of his identity is under attack. The aggressive response, then, is a way to reassert and defend that identity. This need to reassert masculinity can be linked to the concept of precarious manhood we discussed earlier. Since manhood is seen as something that needs constant proving, any challenge to it can trigger a defensive and aggressive response. It's a way of demonstrating to oneself and others that one's masculine status is intact. However, it's crucial to understand that this aggression is not an inevitable response. It's shaped by cultural and societal norms, individual psychology, and the specific context of the challenge. Not all men will respond to threats to their masculinity with aggression, and the form this aggression takes can vary widely. Understanding the psychological mechanisms behind this aggression is key to addressing the broader implications of precarious manhood. It highlights the need for more nuanced conversations around masculinity, where men can express vulnerability without fear of their masculine identity being diminished. In our next segment, we'll tie all these threads together, discussing how the cultural, evolutionary, and psychological aspects of precarious manhood play out in everyday life, affecting men's behavior and interactions. Broader Psychological Effects Beyond anxiety and aggression, the concept of precarious manhood has a range of broader psychological effects. These impacts are far-reaching, touching on aspects of self-esteem, relationships, and overall mental health. Let's delve into these areas to understand the full spectrum of the psychological landscape influenced by precarious manhood. One of the most significant psychological effects of precarious manhood is its impact on self-esteem. 
When manhood is perceived as something that must be constantly proven, it can lead to an ongoing sense of inadequacy or failure. Men might feel that they are never man enough, which can severely impact their self-esteem and self-worth. This constant self-doubt can lead to feelings of insecurity and a diminished sense of self. Precarious manhood also profoundly affects personal and professional relationships. In personal relationships, the pressure to conform to masculine ideals can hinder emotional openness and vulnerability, essential components of intimate and supportive relationships. In the workplace, this pressure can manifest as overly competitive or aggressive behaviors, which constrain professional relationships and team dynamics. The implications for mental health are substantial. The stress and anxiety associated with precarious manhood can contribute to a range of mental health issues, including depression, anxiety disorders, and substance abuse. The social and emotional isolation that can result from a reluctance to express vulnerability or seek help only exacerbates these issues. Societal expectations play a significant role in these psychological effects. The cultural scripts that define what it means to be a man set the stage for how men perceive and react to challenges to their masculinity. Personal interpretations of these scripts can vary widely, but the underlying theme of needing to prove one's manhood is a common thread. Each man's response to these expectations is shaped by his unique experiences, personality, and circumstances. However, the pervasive nature of these societal norms means that no man is completely immune to the pressures they create. In understanding these broader psychological effects, we can start to see the ripple effects of precarious manhood across various aspects of life. It's a reminder of the importance of challenging and reshaping societal norms around masculinity to foster healthier psychological outcomes for men, counteracting negative impacts. We've explored the multifaceted impacts of precarious manhood, from heightened anxiety and aggression to its broader psychological effects. Now, let's turn our focus to solutions and strategies. How can understanding the concept of precarious manhood help in counseling and therapy? And what can men do to cope with these pressures in healthier ways? In counseling and therapy, an understanding of precarious manhood can be incredibly valuable. It allows therapists to approach their male clients with a more nuanced understanding of the pressures they may be facing. Recognizing the impact of societal expectations on men's mental health can guide therapeutic approaches, making them more effective and empathetic. For instance, therapists can work with men to deconstruct and challenge societal definitions of masculinity, helping them to develop a more flexible and personal sense of their masculine identity. This can involve exploring the sources of their beliefs about manhood, understanding how these beliefs affect their behavior and emotions, and developing strategies to build self-esteem and resilience. Strategies for men to cope healthily. For men dealing with the pressures of precarious manhood, there are several strategies that can be beneficial. One, self-reflection and awareness. Becoming aware of how societal norms influence one's thoughts and behaviors is a crucial first step. Reflecting on one's own beliefs about masculinity and considering where these beliefs come from can be enlightening. Two, seeking support. Building a support network of friends, family, or support groups where men can share their experiences and feelings openly can be incredibly helpful. It's important to create spaces where men can express vulnerability without fear of judgment. 3. Developing Emotional Intelligence Learning to recognize and express emotions in healthy ways is key. This can involve learning coping mechanisms for stress and anxiety, such as mindfulness or relaxation techniques. Four. Challenging Stereotypes Actively challenging and redefining personal definitions of masculinity can be empowering. This might involve embracing aspects of oneself that don't fit traditional masculine norms or exploring hobbies and interests that bring joy and fulfillment beyond societal expectations. 5. Uh, professional Help Seeking professional counseling or therapy can provide men with the tools and space they need to work through their challenges related to masculinity in a constructive way. By understanding and addressing the concept of precarious manhood, both men and mental health professionals can work towards counteracting its negative impacts. Embracing a more flexible and personal understanding of masculinity can lead to healthier, more fulfilling lives. Supporting men and understanding women's role. 
Throughout our discussion of precarious manhood, we focused primarily on men's experiences and responses. However, it's equally important to address how women can support men in navigating these challenges and to acknowledge the ways in which women might, often unknowingly, perpetuate the cycle of precarious manhood. Let's explore how women can be allies in this context and what steps can be taken to identify and mitigate these unintentional contributions. How women can support men. Women can play a crucial role in supporting men as they grapple with the pressures of precarious manhood. This support can take various forms. One, understanding and empathy. Developing a deeper understanding of the pressures men face can foster empathy. Recognizing that societal expectations of masculinity can be challenging and often detrimental is a crucial step. Two, encouraging open communication. Women can encourage open and honest communication about emotions and vulnerabilities. Creating a safe space where men feel comfortable expressing their feelings without fear of judgment or emasculation can be incredibly valuable. Three, challenging stereotypes. Women can help challenge and redefine societal norms of masculinity. This involves questioning traditional stereotypes and supporting men in exploring diverse expressions of masculinity. Identifying unintentional perpetuation of precarious manhood. It's also important for women to be aware of ways they might inadvertently contribute to the cycle of precarious manhood. This can happen in subtle ways, such as one, reinforcing stereotypes. Sometimes, without realizing it, women might reinforce traditional masculine stereotypes through expectations or comments about how men should behave. Two, dismissing vulnerability. Dismissing or mocking men's vulnerabilities or emotional expressions can contribute to the pressure they feel to conform to traditional masculine norms. As we consider the role of women in the context of precarious manhood, two key areas stand out for deeper exploration. The reinforcement of stereotypes and the dismissal of vulnerability. Understanding these aspects is crucial for both men and women in addressing the pressures associated with traditional masculinity. Reinforcing stereotypes. Stereotypes about how men should behave are deeply ingrained in our culture, and sometimes women might unintentionally reinforce these stereotypes. This reinforcement can take various forms, expectations of manliness, Expectations that men should always be strong, stoic, or the primary breadwinners are common examples of reinforcing traditional masculine stereotypes. Language and communication. The way we talk about masculinity can also reinforce stereotypes. Phrases like man up or boys don't cry serve to perpetuate the idea that certain emotions or behaviors are not masculine. Media and cultural influences. Women, like men, are influenced by media portrayals of masculinity. Recognizing and challenging these portrayals can help mitigate the reinforcement of stereotypes. Dismissing vulnerability. On the flip side, the dismissal of men's vulnerabilities or emotional expressions is another area where women might inadvertently contribute to the cycle of precarious manhood, mocking or minimizing emotions. Dismissing men's emotional expressions or labeling them as overreactions can reinforce the notion that emotional vulnerability is unmanly. Expectations of emotional stoicism. The expectation that men should always be emotionally stoic and handle problems without seeking help can lead to a dismissal of their emotional needs. Social conditioning. It's important to recognize that social conditioning plays a role in how women respond to men's vulnerability. Understanding and challenging these conditioned responses is key to creating a more supportive environment. In order to move forward and counteract these tendencies, it's important for women to be conscious of language and attitudes, pay attention to language and attitudes that reinforce stereotypes or dismiss vulnerability. Awareness is the first step to change. Encourage and validate emotional expression. Actively encourage men to express their emotions and validate these expressions when they occur. Educate and advocate for change. Educate oneself and others about the harmful effects of these behaviors and advocate for a broader, more inclusive understanding of masculinity. By digging deeper into these areas and being mindful of our actions and attitudes, we can all contribute to breaking down the barriers of precarious manhood and fostering a society that values emotional expression and diversity in masculinity. 
steps to mitigate unintentional contributions. To mitigate these unintentional contributions, women can, one, reflect on personal beliefs. Take time to reflect on personal beliefs and attitudes about masculinity and consider how these might affect interactions with men. Two, promote non-traditional masculinity. Actively promote and validate non-traditional forms of masculinity, showing appreciation for emotional openness, vulnerability, and other traits not typically associated with traditional masculinity. Three, educate and advocate. Educate oneself and others about the impacts of precarious manhood and advocate for a more inclusive understanding of masculinity. In conclusion, by understanding and actively working to support men in dealing with the pressures of precarious manhood and by being mindful of how actions and attitudes can contribute to these pressures, women can play a vital role in fostering a healthier and more inclusive society, which then directly benefits themselves. Section 4. Concluding Thoughts Balancing Expectations and Identity As we near the conclusion of our exploration into precarious manhood, it's crucial to reflect on the broader societal norms and expectations around masculinity and how they shape individual behavior and self-perception. This reflection is key to understanding not just the experiences of men, but also how society as a whole can evolve to support healthier and more inclusive notions of masculinity. Societal norms and expectations around masculinity have a profound impact on how men behave and see themselves. From a young age, boys receive messages about what it means to be a man. These messages often emphasize traits like toughness, emotional restraint, and dominance. As a result, men may feel compelled to conform to these ideals, sometimes at the cost of their authentic selves. The way men perceive themselves is deeply influenced by these societal expectations. If a man feels he doesn't measure up to these standards, it can lead to feelings of inadequacy or a sense that he's failing at being a real man. This can impact everything from his mental health to his relationships and career choices. It's important for both men and women to recognize these external pressures. Acknowledging that the traditional ideals of masculinity are not just personal choices, but are shaped by broader societal influences can be liberating. It can open the door to questioning and eventually redefining what masculinity means on a more personal and individual level. The impact of these societal expectations on men's lives can't be overstated. They can lead to a range of challenges, from mental health issues to difficulties in forming deep and meaningful relationships. Understanding and acknowledging these pressures is the first step towards fostering a society that allows men to express a full range of emotions and embrace diverse expressions of masculinity. In recognizing the powerful role of societal expectations, we can begin to dismantle the harmful aspects of traditional masculinity and pave the way for a more empathetic, understanding, and inclusive world. Personal Identity and Manhood in this final segment of our discussion on precarious manhood, let's focus on the concept of personal identity and how it intersects with manhood. It's essential to encourage a conversation that not only acknowledges the complexities of manhood, but also moves us away from rigid, one-dimensional stereotypes. The traditional model of manhood, often characterized by toughness, emotional restraint, and dominance, is a narrow and limiting view. It's time to redefine manhood in a way that embraces its complexities and nuances. This redefinition involves recognizing that masculinity can be expressed in myriad ways, and none of these are less valid or manly than the traditional stereotypes. Masculinity can encompass qualities like empathy, vulnerability, and nurturing, which have traditionally been undervalued or even discouraged in men. Encouraging a broader understanding of what it means to be a man can lead to a more fulfilling and authentic experience of masculinity. The role of personal identity in shaping one's understanding and expression of masculinity is crucial. Every man's journey and experiences are unique, and these should inform his expression of manhood. It's about finding what masculinity means on a personal level, separate from societal norms and expectations. We should encourage men to explore and express their own versions of masculinity. This might involve introspection to understand how much of their identity is influenced by societal norms and how much is genuinely reflective of their true selves. It's about giving men the freedom and support to develop a sense of masculinity that resonates with their values, experiences, and beliefs. As we move away from rigid stereotypes, 
it becomes possible to see masculinity in a more inclusive and diverse light. This isn't just beneficial for men, it enriches our entire society by fostering greater understanding and acceptance of different expressions of gender identity. In concluding our exploration of precarious manhood, let's carry forward the idea that redefining manhood to include a broader spectrum of experiences and expressions is not only possible, but necessary. It's a step towards a more empathetic, understanding, and inclusive world where every man is free to define and express his own version of masculinity. Moving forward, as we wrap up today's episode on precarious manhood, let's focus on the path forward. How do we foster a more inclusive and flexible understanding of manhood that accommodates diverse experiences and expressions? And how can dialogue, education, and empathy play a role in breaking down harmful stereotypes and building healthier perceptions of masculinity? Fostering inclusive and flexible understandings of manhood. One, celebrating diversity. Encourage and celebrate diverse expressions of masculinity. Recognize that there is no one right way to be a man. Diversity in masculinity should be seen as a strength, not a weakness. Two, redefining success. Challenge traditional metrics of masculine success, such as physical strength, stoicism, or financial prowess. Broaden the definition to include emotional intelligence, kindness, and resilience. Three, supporting individual journeys. Understand that every man's journey towards understanding his masculinity is unique. Support men in exploring and defining what manhood means to them, free from societal pressures. The role of dialogue, education, and empathy. 1. Open dialogue. Promote open and honest conversations about masculinity, vulnerability, and identity. Encourage men and women to share their experiences and perspectives. 2. Educational initiatives. Implement educational programs that challenge traditional stereotypes and promote a more nuanced understanding of gender and masculinity. This education should start from a young age. 3. Empathy and Understanding Cultivate empathy by encouraging people to put themselves in others' shoes, to understand the pressures and challenges faced by men in conforming to traditional masculinity. Breaking down stereotypes and building healthier perceptions. 1. Media Representation Advocate for and support media representations of men that defy traditional stereotypes and showcase a wide range of masculine expressions. 2. Community Involvement Engage communities in discussions about gender norms and masculinity, highlighting the importance of inclusivity and mental health. 3. Policy and Advocacy Work towards policy changes that support gender equality and mental health initiatives, creating environments where diverse expressions of masculinity are accepted and valued. Remember, moving forward requires a collective effort. It's about creating spaces where men can explore and express their masculinity without fear of judgment or retribution. It's about changing the narrative around what it means to be a man and embracing a future where masculinity is defined not by a narrow set of expectations, but by the rich and diverse experiences of every individual man. Closing remarks. As we come to the end of today's episode, let's take a moment to reflect on the key points we've discussed. We've delved into the concept of precarious manhood, exploring how societal norms and expectations shape men's behavior and self-perception. We've examined the psychological impacts of this precariousness, from anxiety and aggression to its broader effects on self-esteem, relationships, and mental health. We touched on the important roles both men and women play in perpetuating and challenging these norms. The phrase, women are human beings, men are human doings, poignantly captures the dichotomy often seen in societal expectations of gender roles. It highlights the tendency to value men for their actions and achievements, while women are often valued for their inherent qualities. This conversation is crucial in understanding the pressures men face and how we, as a society, can move towards a more inclusive and flexible understanding of manhood. We discussed strategies for coping with these pressures, the importance of empathy and dialogue in breaking down stereotypes, and the need for a broader, healthier perception of masculinity. I encourage you, our listeners, 
to reflect on your own perceptions and experiences of manhood. How have these societal expectations influenced your view of masculinity? How can we collectively redefine these norms to foster a more inclusive and empathetic understanding of what it means to be a man? As we close today's episode, let's remember the aim of our podcast, to provide insight and ideas to navigate your world. It's about expanding our perspectives, challenging our assumptions, and embracing the diversity of experiences that make up our world. Thank you for joining me on this journey of exploration and understanding. Until next time, keep seeking, keep questioning, and keep growing.